Hello and welcome to an EverQuest guide on anniversary quests that you should do or are worth doing. And uh, we're kind of going to go into these here and uh, it's anniversary time. Now, I know I'm not going to be able to finish all of these quests before <laughs> the end of the thing, but uh, as you can see, I have like 20 tabs open. Uh, first things first, eqresource.com is the best place to get this information. There are, is some stuff on Alakazam, but it is not, at least I couldn't find it, is you know set up as nice as this one. And this goes through all the different quests for the different years. So if I go to like the 13th anniversary, you can see here is all the 13th anniversary quests and then, you know, the reward. So it's a very well laid out and I'm not paid by EQ resource in any way. Uh, it's just the, probably the best resource for this information. So first quest up, I think is the most important, uh, is from the 16th anniversary. This is a uh, pub crawl. Now you don't have to finish the quest. Uh, the, the, the item from this is the drunkard Stein, which is a, uh, which right here in the game. It's pretty much an instant, instant, uh, come on, instant, uh, teleport to plane of knowledge. I find this to be one of the better items, uh, for my characters because I'm, I'm lazy and I don't like running, right? You can throw and you can do all of those other stuff to get to plane of knowledge, but this one is really quick for me. Uh, all you have to do if you want to get this quest is be level uh, 21 and get 50 alcohol tolerance and then go straight to, where is it at? Right here. The bonus reward, you're going to go to Abysmal Sea inside the inn. You're going to find a bard singing in the middle. And then you say you say these things to him. I would make a macro. Uh, you need two macros, one for the first five lines, one for the last line. And then you repeat his lines back to him. Uh, these are the lines right here. And make a macro. I have, yeah, like right here, you can see uh, this guy here. Uh, Wild Will post exactly what you need to do. So, and hit full steps right here on how to do it. Uh, I believe I do have uh, a video on it somewhere on the channel, but uh, highly recommend this one. So that's from the 16th anniversary. The quest is called Brassy's, uh, no, it's called Pub Crawl. If you Google it, it will show up. So that one is the, probably the first one I think is important. The next one I love a lot is uh, the Unified Phoenix Feather. So this is, gives you the Grace of Unity, which is a mini Paragon. Uh, this quest is fairly easy. Uh, if you have, you know, more than one character, you can probably solo, solo it at 125 if you want. Uh, but the mobs do scale up to uh, 125, so keep that in mind. But all you do is go to Black Burrow. Uh, there's a guy outside the zone, or out, outside of Surefall Glade, I guess. It'll give you the quest, you go inside, you kill all the gnolls in the zone, they draw papers, and uh, those papers can be turned into uh, a book, seven pages, and then uh, that'll give you everybody in the group the unified phoenix feather. It took me three uh, instance clears to actually get all the pages. Pages are tradable, you can probably buy them if you want, uh, but definitely there's a video of that on, this, on the channel. Uh, if you want to see that in progress, but uh, it's a pretty good one. Uh, the next up is the 25th anniversary. So this year's anniversary quest. Now these are actually pretty cool. Uh, the bonus item in this. So when you do this quest, uh, it's pretty self explanatory. Let's go kill some mobs here and there, right? Uh, but when you kill all the mobs inside of all these little spots here on the map, the, there is a chance for a dragon egg to spawn and each dragon egg turned into uh, Gaius will give you uh, one of these a choice of one of these augs now they're lore equipped augs so you can only use one of them at a time but if you have like personas or something like that it might be worth picking up an extra one uh, but you can get five per mission so it's it's not too bad so like this one here the defense one gives you a mod 5 defense so that's pretty nice plus some other stats and these go in the type 3 
Uh, there's one for offense. There's one for evocation, divinivation, uh, conjuration, alteration, abjuration. So any of those, uh, you know, you pick like for my mage, I went with evocation with my bard. I went offense, my paladin, I went defense and offense. Cause I got two of them. Uh, so definitely this is worth doing. This is a really nice type, uh, three aug to kind of put into your stuff. All right. And now what's up next? That's unity. We did that one whispers in the dark. So I just did the video on this one. Uh, fairly easy quest at 125 but uh this draw this the bonus item is the spirit of the loss so this is an item that you you right click it it will point your character uh towards uh a collectible item so if we go here to uh holdridge and uh let's zone over to some other zone uh yeah charleval divided right and um we can click it and see how this actually works. I believe it just faces you towards I have never, I haven't even used it yet, but I just got it for him. Uh, you only get one for the mission. So whoever gets the, there's a, you'll get a bag. You'll say spirit anchor to an NPC. He will give you a bag and then you kill the two mobs that are part of the, the mission. Uh, and you put the two items that they drop inside the bag and uh, whatnot. So here we go. Uh, it's right here in my bag, Spirit of the Lost. Let's just right click it. It's got a little cast time, but uh, <laughs> it prevents me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. There may be some requirements to this. I don't know. I don't know why it's preventing me, but yeah. So let's just go back. Uh, but yeah, so Whispers are worth doing. Uh, it'll get you that. Theoretically, I'll help you win the, uh, with the uh, monthly collection item that's coming out right now. Uh, see, Defending Knowledge. So this this item, this quest here gives us uh, the Miniature Horn of Unity, which is the... It's a lesser version of the Phoenix Feather, but it's still worth you getting because they're on different timers. Uh, so definitely something to get. Uh, this one, all you do is defend Plane of Knowledge. And uh, bonus loot, you'll receive a chest if you successfully do not allow any NPCs to enter Plane of Knowledge. Now, I haven't done this one yet, so I don't know how high these scale, but you can start doing this at level 65. Uh, if you put your group at the... So, like, you're in Plane of Tranquility, right? And uh, there is a... Let's see if there's a map on here now. There is like where the stone goes to plane of knowledge. If you put your characters or your group in that area and kill everything that you see, uh, that is the best chance to win because you do not want anything to get to plane of knowledge. If you do, you fail. So we're going to try this quest uh, eventually, but I don't know if I'll finish it before <laughs> uh, before the uh, anniversary ends. So definitely worth getting. Uh, if you, if, Especially if you don't have the Phoenix Feather. Uh, but if you have the Phoenix Feather, it's less priority, but I would still definitely pick it up if you can. Now, this one here, uh, Fish Eyes in the Dark. Now, this rewards a fishing pole, the Bone Rod. Now, the Bone Rod is a plus, you know, what, 7% fishing skill and, uh, you know, up to 15 max. So this is probably the best fishing pole in the game as far as I know of. Uh, and one of the reasons why is because it does not break. Uh, as you know, fishing poles break and uh, it's kind of annoying, right? You're fishing, uh, you know, and uh, your fishing pole breaks. You got to get another one. Uh, there's some that you can summon, I know, but uh, this one does not break and it gives you the mod, right? So this is a pretty good fishing rod. Uh, it's fairly easy to get, right? Uh, like all you have to do is go to is this a few different zones, do some fishing. Uh, I think I did this with my uh, Necromancer a few years ago, and I got, uh, I think I got like all the fishing skill. I started at like fishing zero maybe, and I got all the fishing skill required just by doing the quest. <laughs> so it was not that bad. Uh, and then what you do is you uh, turn all these fish in and uh, combine all the bones after you turn the fish in in a uh, fishing bench, right? So. Not too bad. Easy quest. 
definitely uh, worth doing if you uh, plan on doing anything with fishing in the game. And if you, even if you don't plan on because you will probably plan on it eventually. Especially if you want to get the uh, Artisan's Prize. Alright, so this one here. Uh, this gives you a... This is Pieces is Pieces. This one gives you a collection uh, bag. A 44 slot collectible bag. Now, what is a collectible bag? So... You can see my bag right here. I got my heroic bag. All these items in this bag are collectible items. Now, they just litter my inventory uh, on most of my characters, right? Like, uh, I think mostly on uh, like my Heroic of I characters, like, all their bags are completely full of collectible items and all kinds of junk. Uh, and this, like, the way I do my bags is I have two trade skill items. And so with that item, you would put it in the very first slot. So when you auto-roll, you know, receive a trade skill or a collectible item, goes in the first slot uh which would be the first bag for collectibles so you kind of filter your inventory that way and this quest here gives you a 44 slot bag that holds them uh so this is pretty nice now the downside to this getting this item is actually annoying <laughs> um so you have to do the quest once and then you have to pick up the bag on the ground and then combine all 10 pieces that you get from the quest in the bag. Um, so that's kind of annoying. So <laughs> you have to do it twice and, uh, you know, it's all over. So, you know, one of the, you know, it's go around and get some. So this is all from Depths of Dark Hollow. So it might go pretty quick because they're like level 60, 70 mobs. So you should be able to, like, if you're high level, you should be able to just destroy them without much effort. But it's still, you have to go do it. So... But uh, definitely worth it. I plan on doing that one here soon. All right, so this one, uh, yeah, this one gives type 18 AUG. So this is the 24th anniversary quest, Reek Tuck, the Inexplorable. Now, this is worth doing just because you get these type 18 slot items. Now, what is a type 18? Uh, so if you look here at my necklace and my cloak, right, they have a type 18 slot. Uh, it's the only items that I have at the moment that have type 18 slots. Uh, these are typically crafted. Um, the Ralos, Ralos Zek earring has the slots also, and I believe the Evolve items from TBM also. So you can get these uh, type 18 slots, and then you craft augs normally, like... Uh, like I have the uh, devotees, focus of the lost, and stuff like these. These are, I think, these are actually luck ogs. Never mind. <laughs> uh, but the type 18s are, you know, typically crafted. But here you can get them uh, from this. These are level 120 versions. So if you don't have any better easy quests, go in. Uh, what does this do? Right? You just go in. You kill uh, six, uh, six mobs, six more mobs, kill a boss, uh, kill a leader. You know, fairly straightforward quest. I, I will do it, but uh, it seems pretty easy. Open a chest, and then you get the augs. So, pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, let's see here. 15th anniversary, what happens in Neriac? So, let's see here. This one requires fishing. I'm trying to remember what the item was. It's on my... I have a, I have a Trello board with all the items I want to do. Oh, yeah. Diplomatic papers. That's the one here. So diplomatic papers, not probably not as good nowadays, but uh, it gives you a, a absorption of twenty five incoming spell or melee damage up to five thousand per hit, um, and it'll take fifty thousand total. So you know, like you know, mobs are hitting for forty k, but you know, it takes a little bit off the top, uh, and it only takes five thousand per hit. So it's you know, it'll, it'll take off you know a little bit damage if you're you know taking a lot of damage. So definitely worth getting. Uh, that item there. Uh, let's see here. Rumor has it. What is this one? Ring of the Ancients. Oh yeah, this is the shrink item. So definitely want to get this item. Uh, I believe it's a in near instant cast. So 0.5 second cast shrink. And uh, doesn't look too difficult, I suppose. So definitely do that one. It is from the 13th anniversary. So... It looks like it's a shared task, so maybe everybody in the group gets it. Uh, I haven't done it yet, so we'll see. Uh, a formal dinner party here. 
this one gives an AUG bonus loot. Probably not that great nowadays, but uh, if you're still in that 75 to 110 range, it's probably worth getting. Uh, let's see here, Lost But Not Forgotten. The Lost Wayfarer's Tent, which is a trophy uh, that gives... I can't see it here. Can't see the stats here, let's do this. Just Google it and then go to the Alakazam version. You can see here now, <laughs> this is pretty crazy. If you look at this, if you think about it, right? It's pretty crazy. It's older item, right? Ring of scale, 3000 health and mana endurance trophy, but 200 AC is pretty big. You know, 12 heroic stats, five mana regen, spell damage and all that. So it's a pretty nice little item, uh, probably worth getting if you don't have any better trophies. Uh, let's see here. What is this one? Cleansing Ground. This gives a, uh, a right click, clicky 0.5 second clear poison, I believe. Either poison or disease. There's two of them. Uh, one does poison, one does disease. So if you don't have that spell naturally, definitely worth getting. Uh, Saf's Day Off. This one here is worth doing because it gives you the Zura Slide. Which gives you teleports to Dreadlands, Great Divide, Nuklos, North Row, Skyfire, and Stonebird. Now, you know, like, you know, you have plain of knowledge, so you can kind of get around, but still worth it to uh, kind of just like have an item if you want to, you need another clicky to teleport around, right? So that's pretty good. Uh, let's see here, Death Finds a Way, which is the prereq for the next quest. Uh, so it's just a little prereq quest you have to do to do this one here, which is Beyond a Spore. Uh, this one, the bonus loot, is a pet, a familiar. So this is uh, equivalent to, I believe, the uh, Knight of Shadows. I think it is Knight of Shadows or Terror of Luckland Familiars. You can get there, so we take a look at uh, uh, that's the wrong character. Take a look at you. So, I believe it's equivalent to this one right here Pet Illusion. No, yeah, here we go. Increases your uh, healing by th three to six, gives you 1400 hit points and stuff like that. So, this is the Night of Shadows pet. So I think it's equivalent to that. Might be a little better, might be a little worse. Just depends on that. But definitely probably worth doing if you do not have a better pet of uh, pet familiar yet. Uh see here. Risky Rat Rescue. This is another uh, uh 23rd anniversary quest. The bonus loot is um uh, an aug. <laughs> so definitely worth getting. Um from what I understand. This uh, gives you a another proc that you can add to your weapon, so it's pretty nice. Uh, I believe the the choices are actually uh, choices are actually different than just that one, but uh, definitely worth doing. Uh, let's see here, known laws of a aviation, twenty third anniversary. I believe this one's a requirement for something else. I don't remember why I have it on there. <laughs> uh, painting player poker. Uh, maybe that was just one I was trying to finish all of them. All right, we have sprucing up uh, shaky here. So this gives you summon food and drink clicky items. Uh, you know, it might be worth it if you uh, if you need something like that. Otherwise, you can probably skip it. Uh, War Games, 15th anniversary. Now, this one gives augs. Now, I think if you see all the loot here, one of these augs is... Where is it at? Uh, let's see here. I don't... I don't see what I'm looking for here, but one of, one of these augs is good i think there's another one it's just not listed here that comes from here but definitely worth doing uh let's see here bite what does this one do can't remember what <laughs> these are like the last ones i didn't think i would get to kind of thing uh increase current hair points by 1100 all right 
Life Soothing Potion. So this is a heal potion. All right, there we go. This is a clicky heal. So this will heal you for 10,000. So it's a nice little click item to have. 30 minute reuse, 0.3 seconds. Looks like all you have to do is go collect a few items. So, uh, and I guess this is growing up. So this one gives you another clicky item, mom's hug which uh, absorbs 100% of the damage for, it says 200, so that's pretty weak. Uh, I would expect it to be slightly better, but eh, maybe not. This is a, uh, this is a Empire's of Kunark Ring of Scale quest, so it might not be that great, but uh, definitely worth doing. I mean, you get an achievement for doing it anyway, so. And then uh, finally, 16th anniversary liquid courage. Uh, where is the item? The bonus item. Uh, so you get the golden helmet of Ralos Zek, which is a, I believe, a trophy. I think, anyway, let's click on it. Looks kind of cool. Yeah, trophy effect 75 AC, 500 HP, mana regen, our mana uh, endurance. Random to a rent. It's awarded to a random player in the group, so <laughs> uh, after the group kills 70 to 80 creatures during the mission, I suppose. So definitely, uh, you know, that's not too that's not too bad. If you don't have any other trophies, I mean, 75 AC is pretty good. I believe at some point they stop putting AC on things so to uh, lower that stat. So some of these older items have insane AC that is really good. But that is all the anniversary quests that I plan on doing this year. I have like, if I bring my Trello board in here, right? Like, you can kind of see like how I do things, right? How I keep all track. So here's all my anniversary quests all listed down here and uh, where I'm going with them. So uh, definitely uh, how, you know, this what I'm going to do. And I just don't think I'm going to finish all these videos and have them released before the uh, end of uh, <laughs> before the end of the anniversary, because I am going to less videos for Holdridge a uh, a week, so that is going to be uh, you know the next bunch of videos as I get them done and stuff like that. But uh, there are other ones that are probably worth doing, and if you are an achievement you know junkie. There are a lot of achievements related to all these, and you're probably going to want to just come in and do them. Uh, you know, some of these are really quick. Some of them are really long. You know, it just depends on uh, what you're going to do. But uh, there you go. Thank you very much for watching, and please have a fantastic day.